Hey guys, just a quick video on this gauge cluster for the factory radio bezel that I just installed. Um, I got this off of conceptzperformance.com. Um, I'll put a link down in the description, but this is a really good purchase and it looks super clean. I'll show it. Um, yeah, it looks super clean. It just it doesn't come with any instructions on how to install it So I called them up and I said hey should I be using some kind of glue or what exactly should I be doing to install this and um, The guy talked to their z32 specialist guy and he said that the best thing that he has found is to use a two-part epoxy so I just went to advance and grab this Permatex um, two-part epoxy and black plastic welder um, and just threw it on there. Uh, part of the concern with using other glues was that the heat in the summer might um, pull it off. So on the back this one has a temperature range of negative zero, negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit to positive 250 degrees Fahrenheit and it is not getting 250 degrees Fahrenheit in South Carolina so I'm good on that um, and it was really easy um, this ledge right here so this is a single den and then another single den that has that Bose um, cover that goes right here so you just pull that out and this ledge right here all I did was I squirted the epoxy out, mixed it together with a Q-tip, and then with another Q-tip, I just dabbed it on there, and I put it on the inside of this ledge on the actual gauge cluster piece right there, and then I took the rest of it and I put it on the actual bezel just all the way around the edge um, fairly close to the outside of the edge and then on the inside of that little uh, ledge right there and um, it turned out really well I probably finished it maybe 20 minutes ago and um, not supposed to do this but you can see I can already pick it up by that piece right there it's holding on really well I got off majority of the excess going along the top and the edges and there's no big protruding gaps or anything. It looks really good. Um, same thing on the back. Looks really good inside of there. So uh, you can see the excess that I just kind of, I put a nice big glob all the way around that edge just to make sure that whenever I push this down on there, it had plenty of uh, material to go down on. Um, but yeah. That's that, and um, figured I would just make this video because I had trouble finding stuff on this, and um, hopefully it helps somebody, and I hope you like this quick, short video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. And one more quick thing, whenever you are dealing with this stuff, it dries fairly quickly, so from the time that I squirted this out and mixed it up, to putting this on and having it where I want it and just holding pressure on it um, was probably a matter of just a few minutes of actual work time with this material. So um, yeah, make sure you do that quick. And then whenever I had it on here, I just with both hands had pressure down on it for a good two minutes before I let up. And when I let up, I made sure nothing moved or shifted and that told me that it was starting to solidify and starting to hold the two plastics together. But yeah, that's it, and thank you guys so much.